Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. In today's video, I'm just gonna share a, a kind of a typical day in the life of a house sitter. Uh, I'm currently house sitting in Canada. And if you don't know what house sitting is, it's basically an exchange of service where you look after a property uh, for free accommodation while the owners are away. So the first thing I like to do in the morning is of course, going to see the animals, which I adore. Good morning. Uh, this is Ruby, sweet Ruby. She's six years old and she's a mixed Pyrenees Marema. And um, this is uh, Ida. In the morning, I just make sure that they have enough food left. I clean the cat litter and uh, top it up if necessary. And then uh, make sure that they have enough nice and fresh uh, water, both Ida and Ruby. It's then time for a little bit of cuddles with, with this big bear uh, she loves cuddles and I love spending time with her and <laughs> she's just adorable and sometimes uh, Ida joins in too it's then time for a little treat a little breakfast treat and they are so well behaved like each has their own treats and they don't steal from each other they're just so so good it's then time to go and check on the chickens. So I fill in two buckets of nice and fresh water because of course at night the water freezes. So we want to make sure that they have some uh, fresh water in the morning. So there's 11 uh, chicken, super sturdy Canadian chickens that do just well in really, really low temperature. They're really like, they really are super chickens. And um, so here I'm just uh, adding some fresh water for them. And in the morning, we give them some corn and some uh, sunflower seeds uh, for them to pick on and pass the day. They have such a cool coop, like I've never seen chickens being this spoiled, honestly. They have an inside coop and an outside coop and um, they have a, an automatic door that opens in the morning and closes at night, so you don't need to go in and let them out. Uh, so it's a really, really cool and thought out system. And uh, so here I'm just giving them some sprouts as well. It's really nice to give them some uh, also fresh veggies since it's the winter and they're not uh, picking any uh, from the ground. And then I go in the inside coop, change the water which had frozen at night, add some uh, fresh hay which helps keeping the coop warm. Of course the coop is heated, the inside coop is heated um, because it's, it gets really cold. <laughs> I then check the uh, feed and also check for eggs. Uh, those are quite old chickens but they do still uh, lay eggs occasionally. And then it's time to go back to the house for breakfast. Oh, and we were trying to do this like art installation with the frozen water from the, the, the chicken coop. But uh, last week the wind won and it collapsed. It's then time for my favorite ritual of the day, which is of course coffee. Bringing a little bit of Italy, even in Canada. And uh, so yeah, just putting my coffee uh, on the stove. And there's nothing better than the smell of coffee in the morning. And then I was having some uh, pineapple cake, which I had made the day before. And honestly, this is such a good uh, recipe. I will leave it in the description box if you like pineapple cake, because it was delicious. In the morning, I to do, like to do all kind of practical, physical things. So here I was just going for a little wander with um, uh, the skis. Uh, the property is big so there are a lot of places you can go with the little skis and uh, I'm not the best skier in the world I must say but um, it's a lot of fun Then it's time to plow. Uh, as it snows a lot, uh, it's really important to keep the road clear. And here there wasn't that much, but still it's important to, you know, um 
past the plow quite often because the snow, even if there's not a lot, it tends to compact. And uh, honestly, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's such a cute little plow and I really, really enjoy it, although I'm not that great at it. It was then time for uh, lunch. Uh, here, I think I was watching some ballet. I don't really know why, um, but yeah, I was just frying out some uh, onions and then some garlic because, of course, what what would life be without garlic, right? Some tofu. And here, I was just finishing off with um, an avocado. So local and seasonal. The afternoons are dedicated to, guess what, working. So I was really super lucky that uh, this property had a studio on top of it and that the lady that lives here was actually into uh, silversmithing. So she had all the tools for me to uh, start and learn about silversmithing, which if you've been following me for a while, something I've been doing for a while, but because I'm always on the move, it was hard for me to find a place where I could do that. Uh, so here I think I was making one of my first sea glass pendant, which I ended up breaking, so I'm not gonna be showing you the, <laughs> the final look. Uh, but if you're interested, actually, I wanted to mention, I have a new channel which is all about jewelry making, and not only about jewelry making, but you know, owning a business and selling online and being self-employed and all that kind of jazz. So if you're interested, uh, make sure to check the description to find a link to it. Once I'm done, uh, I usually go back to the house and uh, I don't do that very often, I should do it more often. There's so many instruments in the house, the family is really um, music oriented and so sometimes I like to play around with the drums, the djembe's, the guitar, there's even a piano, so it's a lot, a lot of fun. It's then time to go and check on the chickens in the evening. Uh, the evening duty is to uh, spray their clothes or legs with um, some anti-mite solutions to avoid any mites going in it. So once that's done, uh, I go back to the kitchen and that's where we're making sure that nothing is falling on the floor, just in case. Uh, so here I was just having a salad and a sweet potato with tahini and uh, nutritional yeast which honestly if you haven't never tried it it's delicious so and then after dinner I usually spend a few hours doing computer work such as editing or uploading pictures that kind of stuff and uh, Ida sometimes like to join in the in the chair and then to finish off the day I sometimes like to have a little infrared sauna which is just amazing when outside is freezing cold and then going to bed hope you enjoyed the video have a great day bye <music>